welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where I help you improve your maths, chess and fitness. So today I'm going to show you exactly where to get these IGCSE maths pass papers from. So it's a very short video, I'm just going to show you where to get it and what the different codes mean and then you can start your revision for your IGCSEs. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so all you need to do is open up Google and to access any Cambridge paper, we're going to go to Papa Cambridge, not Papa John's Pizza. So you'll see Papa Cambridge home like so. Uh, you can click directly to pass papers. That will get you a little bit further through the process. It might take a little bit of time to load. If you don't have access to papers from a school, for example, then this is a very good way to go. So first of all, you need to choose the exam board that you're working with. If you're doing Cambridge, it's going to be C-A-I-E. Okay, so Cambridge Assessment International Examinations, I think it stands for. Of course, Papa Cambridge, we want to look at Cambridge. So lots of adverts, but we can work our way through. We're going to go to Cambridge Upper Secondary. So we click on that directory. That's going to open up two different choices. So we'll want to choose the IGCSE option. Uh, we're not doing O level here, but if you do do O level, you can access this in exactly the same way. So we click on IGCSE and it's going to bring up loads and loads of different courses. So, you know, want to do the IGCSE in Afrikaans, it gives you the option. We're going to scroll down to mathematics, so M for mathematics. So it's going to take a little bit of a scroll and you can see you've got all the different courses. The main ones that IGCSE offer are the 0580 course and the 0607 course. Okay, so you can choose either. I'm just going to choose 0607 since that's the one that I do at my school. If you click on that, you'll open up many different dates of past paper. It goes all the way back to 2014, all the way up until the present day, May, June 2020. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a random paper. Let's choose 2019. Yeah, let's choose 2019, October, November. So I'm going to click on that and that's going to open up a series of files that you can download. Now, if you're doing the IGCSE, there is core and extended. If you're doing the extended course for 0607, you will do a paper two, a paper four, and a paper six. Notice MS here stands for mark scheme. So that's not what we want to get a past paper. We need to scroll further down to get QQP. And you'll see QP, there is two, one, two, two, and two, three. That's for the three different time zones that the paper two is done in. So we're going to choose one at random, choose two, one or two, two or two, three. Any of these will give you a paper two. We're going to click on download. We click on the download button and it's going to open up a PDF. We click on that PDF and that's going to give me my 0607 paper, paper two, October, November, 2019. Okay, and then you can download and complete at your leisure. If you want to check the mark scheme for this, if we go back to the folder, now we want to find MS21. So we scroll back up to MS21, click on download. It'll take a little time to download. And then we can actually access the mark scheme for this paper. So for example, the first question here, 14 times two is 28, 28 plus 15 is 43. We open up the mark scheme now, now scroll down to question one. There we are, 43 for one mark. So you can actually check your marks. The last thing I want to show you is also the very, very first file called GT. This stands for grading threshold. So I click the download button. I'm gonna open this up. And this tells you what grade you can get for the different papers. So we're looking at a two one paper. So if I get over 17 marks out of 40, I get a C grade. If I get over 32 marks out of 40, then I get an A grade. Now you're probably wondering, well, there's no A star here. Well, A star is only calculated by a combination of papers two, four, and six. Or if you're doing uh, the 0580 course, papers two and four. If we scroll down, it's gonna take a combination of the papers that we just did. So two, one, four, one, six, one. So in order to get an A star on this particular set of papers, I need to get 170 out of 200 on paper 21, 41, and 61, all those marks added together. So you can actually work out, once you've done a set of past papers, whether you actually got an A star or not, which is very, very useful. Okay, um, this works for any of the other IGCSE courses that you do. 
So not just for mathematics, but if you're wanting to access English or history or economics, then you can find this in exactly the same way and in exactly the same folder too. Okay, so that's it for this video. Okay, all these past papers are here. Hopefully you're busy revising wherever you are in the world and I'll see you on the next video. All right, bye bye for now. And if you're liking the content that you're watching currently, then please do consider liking and subscribing and sharing with your friends as well. Okay, thank you.